Hey everyone, here I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the profile section of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm on the Xbox Series X, but the principles should be the same on any platform. Up the top, I'm on the welcome screen at the minute, and you can see just to the left of welcome it says LB, and over to the right of options it says RB, and they're the shortcuts. They may differ if you're looking at this on PC or on another platform. Um, so in my case, I want to hit RB to go over to profile. And the profile section has these different areas that you can have a little look at. So we'll start off with pilot profile and I'll put a little uh, chapter guides in this little tutorial as well so you can flick between them. So if I hit A on the pilot profile, what this tells me is various statistics and achievements that I've done as a pilot on here. So you can see things like lowest altitude flow and flight time below sea level, blah, blah, blah. And some of the things here you could then start thinking, oh, I could have a little go at that. Like, for example, total distance flown up, flying upside down meters. Um, I've apparently done um, 959 meters of that, but you could have a little think about some of these and see how much stuff you've been doing that. So that's quite cute that that's in there. You've also got the achievements. If I move the left stick over here and click achievements, this talks about different achievements. So um, I've not actually done that much in Microsoft Flight Simulator at the minute, but again, this gives you some ideas of stuff you could try as a little achievements to you know, do different things in the game. And there's all sorts of stuff in here. You can see there's loads of different achievements in there. Um, so that's quite nice as well. But that's uh, basically what the pilot profile area has in it. Um, another nice area is the My Hangar area on profile. So let's jump into there, tell you a little bit about this. So as default, it gives you this nice view that shows you around the plane that you've currently got selected in the hangar. The bigger planes, you basically got two options, the exterior where it'll do like this kind of fly around um, itself. I'll just move that out of the way so we can see the plane. Um, and then there's another view that you can pick either by going up here to the set view. So I'm just moving the left stick up here. Um, or I can switch the camera with the view button on the Xbox. So you see down the bottom here where it says switch camera, I can either click it there or hit that button on my controller. And then I flick to the internal view of the plane. So that obviously doesn't look very interesting there, but it gives you an idea that you can start having a little look at the plane that you've got currently selected. If I hit B and go back, actually I didn't want to do that. <laughs> that takes you back to the profile. What I actually wanted to do was hit X um, to change the aircraft. And then you can pick any of the aircraft that you've currently got loaded in the, on the system. So for example, if we have a little look at a smaller uh, plane like this Avia Pitts Special S2S. So I can pick any of these and just hit A on the Xbox or whatever the equivalent is on yours. And then that plane will be selected. Once you've selected it, hit B and go back. It'll take a little while, but it'll load it into the hangar for you so you can see the the plane and again you get this little um, kind of um, series of animations around the plane or camera angles. Now on the smaller planes you get another option with views so this one then highlights uh, which enables you to move around the plane but only from a fixed angle so if I activate it here um, you can see I'm now in this view here my cursor then disappears but my right stick now allows me to rotate around the plane and indeed, and indeed the entire hangar. This only seems to work on the smaller planes. It doesn't show as an option on the larger planes, but it gives you an idea. What would have been really cool is if you can zoom in and zoom out, but as far as I can see, none of the buttons let me do that, which is a bit of a shame. But hey ho, and if I hit B, I'm gonna go back out, but a, a, X, Y does nothing for me and moving up and down on the left stick, which I would expect to do something does not either or left trigger right trigger so you're stuck with that view but it's still quite cool that you can flick through um, and see the different things now if i hit uh, the switch camera icon again or rather the button i can see again inside the cockpit so there's my other view and of course this is all going to vary from plane to plane but again it's quite nice that you can do that on this area and have a good inspect of the plane get used to the controls before you go out and start flying the plane um, if I hit back, oh, I've done it again, sorry, not back. If I go back to here again, um, if I left stick, uh, press the left stick down, the little button on top, uh, you get the option of different liveries, uh, which you can also pick in the map view, but here you can have a little look at these. So if I select one, for example, like this Xbox Aviators Club, which is quite a cool one if you're on the Xbox, it'll then load into view and we can just go back here then uh, flick my view to here and then we can have a little look 
at that livery so it shows you all the different ones and this is quite nice because um, you can't really we well, can't spin around them at all when picking them in the my map section whereas here you can have a good look around and decide whether you like it um, before you actually fly it um, one thing you can also do but you can't do it here is change the tail number um, you have to do that in the my map section um, but here you're just stuck with the defaults um, so we just have a little look at another aircraft just for an example so again I can pick another one so let's go with I don't know this one here and hit go back here done it there we go um, while you're in this area uh, you can also have a little look at the specifications so the shortcut for that down the bottom is uh, Y but like I say if you're on the PC you may have different buttons there um, but if I hit Y I can see the description and the cruise speed of these this plane um, and if I move the left stick over here so I'm hovering over this and then move the right stick I can scroll down all of the various areas on it um, so it tells me about the plane with the description and the specs uh, I can then hide that with Y again switch the camera or do other stuff and that's really it for the hangar but it's quite cool that you can see all the planes up close so back in the profile section I've got the content manager if I click on that this lets you see all of the content that you've got installed on your system um, and or not installed or uh, what updates are available and selected so you can see I've got a couple here world updates um, these were optional installs that I then installed and uh, if you want to get those have a little look at the marketplace marketplace tutorial that I uploaded onto my channel and I tell you how to do those but it's just really a useful thing of seeing a useful area for seeing what you've got installed at the minute and um, whether you've got anything downloaded uh, so if I hit back out of there the other thing that we've got the last section of profile is my logbook and my logbook funny enough is your logbook that logs all of your flights and gives you an idea of when you flew how long for uh, where you were, total time of the flight, and take off and landings in that flight. So it's, uh, you can see I've not done masses of stuff on this one, but um, I could go and just see my history of what I've been doing. You can also, interestingly, if you select, uh, select it, you can choose fly again, and it will find that one for you, and you can fly that uh, particular uh, setup once again. So that's quite a nice little feature as well. That's it in a nutshell. That's the profile section of Microsoft Flight Simulator on the Xbox Series X. I hope you found that useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. And if you like this sort of stuff, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.